Hey everyone, Ben here. The market has been so crazy recently. We've seen so many private companies going public via what is called a SPAC merger. And many of these SPACs see their stocks pop by around 30 to 60% in a single day as soon as that merger is announced. So in this video, I'm gonna dive into a way of actually accessing these SPACs pre-merger, although it does come with an immense amount of risk. Stocks only go up. Stocks only go up. Stocks only go up. Now, just a quick intro for those that don't know, a SPAC stands for Special Purpose Acquisition Company. You can think of this as the new IPO. It's just a faster way for private companies to go public. Also, another major difference between a SPAC and an IPO is a SPAC tends to combine together the later stage venture capital funding round which younger companies usually require. So this means the type of companies which tend to go through SPACs tend to be at a much earlier stage in their life cycle as a company. Now this does add greater rewards for potential investors, but also greater risk, which means you need to do a lot more due diligence on these stocks. So for many of you guys who've made money in SPACs, I've announced on this channel previously, you guys all know getting that information early is essential to making money in these SPACs. Thus, if you guys want to know exactly which stocks I'm buying, which stocks I'm selling, including SPACs in real time, then feel free to check out that first link in the description below for the VIP group. For example, a couple of SPACs on this list I actually mentioned in the VIP group before they actually moved at all. But before we go any further, if you're new around here, feel free to join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. And we're also gonna dive into a few risks if you're planning on investing into a SPAC which is pre-merger in that they haven't announced a target company yet. So the first risk is if the SPAC doesn't find a target. Now these SPACs usually have up to two years to find a target company. But if they don't find a target company or the merger doesn't happen, let's say they have some sort of business disagreement, then that can mean the stock can plummet. So that's your first major risk. The second major risk is volatility. These SPACs can be extremely volatile when investing into them, as many people are trading these SPACs on the first few days, and then they usually sell off when the SPAC gets to around 70% up after a merger has been announced. So that's just something you guys need to be aware of, whether you're investing into a SPAC as a long-term play or even trading it like many others do. So by and large, many of these SPACs have a $10 floor. And basically, you want to be investing into these SPACs as close to that $10 floor as possible. Thus, this gives you a better risk profile for the investment. Now, this $10 floor actually equates to the amount of money in the SPAC at the current time. So you're basically investing a dollar for a dollar when the stock is at $10. So basically, the greater the SPAC has run up above the $10 mark, the higher the risk for you as an investor. And the third risk is opportunity cost. Let's say you invest into a pre-merger SPAC and they don't find an acquisition company for many months or even a year or two years. Then that money which you could have invested into other stocks has been trapped in this company. And you may even have to sell it at a small loss in order to invest into another company which you found. So that's the risks out of the way. Now let's dive into my top five pre-merger SPACs. Three of these which I've actually already invested in myself personally. So let's dive in to number one. So this is Bill Atman's Pershing Square Tontine Holdings, PSTH, ticker symbol. Now, Bill Atman is an activist investor and one of the greatest investors I've ever researched and studied. So I recently read Bill Atman's book and it's clear he's a very thoughtful investor. He tends to research a company in depth and he doesn't mind making a public show and really going against the consensus if he believes he has a good investing opportunity. And generally, most of the time, this pays off for Mr. Atman. He even did what I personally call the trade of the century and actually betted that the stock market would fall during the global health crisis in March, April 2020. And the funny thing is, I was actually speaking to Bill Atman briefly via email about him actually coming onto this channel. So that's been passed over now to his public relations company and we're still in talks to see whether he can potentially come onto this channel. But either way, there's no personal bias here. If you ask anyone about Bill Atman, they'll tell you he's a fantastic investor. So I actually mentioned this SPAC many, many months ago. So what's so special about this SPAC? Well, firstly, this is the world's largest blank check company with around $4 billion in cash. Pershing Square is also committed to adding another $3 billion in cash for the company. So the company has been looking for what's being called a mature unicorn with predictable free cash flow and a competitive advantage or moat. Now, these are all great criteria which I personally look for in any investment. Now, this company was rumored to be originally merging with Airbnb, then Bloomberg, 
then Stripe, a fantastic payments company, but none of those have come to fruition yet. So diving into the share price here, as you can see, I previously recommended this stock um, when it was at the base level around $20 per share, and now it's up by $30. So that's the risk you have right now when investing into this company. As you can see here, that's around a 30% risk downside when investing into Pershing Square Tontine Holdings, along with all the other risks previously mentioned. Okay, on to spot number two, and this is June Acquisition Corp, ticker symbol D-U-N-E-U. -E and as you can see, this SPAC is actually still at $10 per share. So this could be a fantastic opportunity to get in there with this pre-merger SPAC. So why do I like this SPAC and its potential opportunities? Well, firstly, this is a software-focused SPAC. So this company is focused on acquiring a software company or a SaaS company software as a service. Now, I love software companies because they have incredibly high margins and tend to grow very fast. So this company is also looking for a software company in the artificial intelligence or machine learning sectors. These are all sectors which I'm extremely bullish on as well. So that's a very interesting one. The great thing about that is it's still at its floor level of around $10 per share. So that could be a great opportunity to invest into. Of course, the target hasn't been announced yet like all the others on this list. Okay, on to spot number three, and this is First Mark Horizon Corp, ticker symbol FMCA. So this SPAC is focused on targeting a generational technology company. And the leadership team is fantastic. So the team has made more than $2 billion in capital commitments and back companies such as Shopify, DraftKings, and even Airbnb. So First Mart raised about $360 million in its own October IPO. So the funny thing with this company is it was actually rumored to be merging with Discord. Now, Discord is a fantastic place. If you guys haven't tried it, check out that first link in the description below for my own Discord VIP group, where it's a fantastic community. You just get better quality of people in Discord groups because I don't know if you've ever been onto Facebook lately, but it's just not the same quality of people in the Facebook discussion groups. Even Reddit, the discussions just aren't there, but in a private Discord group where people have actually paid money to be in that group, the quality of the research tends to be so, so much better. And the user interface is just amazing in Discord. But there's a lot of hype with that and the share price actually ran up by around 34%. Luckily, I wasn't personally invested in this at that time. And then now it's crashed down by around 17%. So this could be a potential opportunity. The risk now is 12%. So you've got 12% downside on this SPAC right now at the current share price of $11.94. Right, guys, if you found value in this video so far, please give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. Okay, on to spot number four is Switchback Acquisition Corp 2. So the ticker symbol for this is SWBK.U. So you may have heard of the original Switchback Acquisition Corp, which partnered with the fantastically successful charging station company, ChargePoint. So by investing into this pre-merger SPAC, you're basically betting that the same leadership team can find another fantastic company like ChargePoint. So diving into the original Switchback Acquisition Corp, SBE, you can see here it was around $10 per share in August 2020. I did actually mention this stock on this channel. And then after the merger was announced with ChargePoint, which is obviously the leader in charging stations, the stock ran up by 291%. So fantastically high. So this is an extremely high valuation right now. Still interesting company, now, finally, SPAT number five is reInvent Technology Partners, ticker RTP. So this company has Zynga founder Mark Pincus and LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman as its lead directors. Now, Reid Hoffman, of course, co-founder of LinkedIn, but also one of the original PayPal mafia, along with Elon Musk. But that's not all the target for this company. It's a fantastic company I'm extremely bullish on. It's basically a disruptive technology company in the insurance sector. Basically, this company is a major competitor to Lemonade. Now, I did a full video on this specific SPAC, so I will leave a video for that in the description below. I highly recommend you watch that video if you're interested in this disruptive technology company. Right, guys, if you did find any value in this video at all, feel free to give it a big thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. If you're new around here and you still haven't subscribed, feel free to join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. 
If you do want to know exactly which stocks I'm buying, which stocks I'm selling, then check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group where you'll get my real-time updates, access to my entire portfolio, and you can even talk to me directly about your own investing and investing decisions. With that being said, I hope you guys have an incredible day and I'll see you all in my next video. Invest safe.